now we will be doing the experiment for determination of viscosity of a tar sample so first of all we will be needing a viscos viscometer apparatus at sire a water butt and a thermometer now if you see the different uh, if you see the definition viscosity is defined as the increase of fluidity the degree of fluidity at the application of temperatures greatly influences the ability of bituminous material to spread penetrate into void and also coat the aggregates and hence affects the strength and characteristics of the resulting paving mixes there is an optimum value of fluidity or viscosity for mixing and compacting for its aggregate gradation of the mix and bitumen grit at high fluidity or low viscosity the bitumen binder simply lubricates the aggregate particles instead of providing a uniform film thickness for binding action similarly low fluidity or high viscosity does not enable the bitumen to coat the entire surface of aggregates it will increase the compactive force or effort the test is conducted as per is120 uh, okay now what we will do is we are taking this sample we are taking this sample and now we will be putting this sample in this styre and we will simply block this in this manner and after that we will be eventually checking the temperature uh, we will be eventually checking the temperature of the bitumen with this thermo uh, of the of the water bath with this thermometer and this is the viscometer apparatus so here it is uh, here a water bath is there and this is an option of and there is an option of constantly stirring the water bath so that we can achieve an uniform temperature now we will be simply pouring this bitumen mix in this apparatus and then we will be checking out the viscosity we will be putting this inside uh, the viscometer apparatus and after that we will be putting this lock inside so that the sample does not go out now now we will be pouring the bitumen in this viscometer and after that it will, uh, will allow it to pour will allow it to pour complete it until it fills completely and now we'll be after that we'll just start the device we we'll start the device and we'll be monitoring the monitoring the temperature with this uh, thermometer we'll start the device and we'll be monitoring the temperature of water with the thermometer and by putting it inside this and then we'll constantly stir it after some time and after that we can so that it attains a temperature higher than the normal and then so that we can determine the viscosity once it has become wire or warm we'll just remove this and we'll put a stopwatch stopwatch and then we'll be measuring the amount of time at which it gets completely empty so now we are lifting it up and we are allowing it to fall if you see it is falling the bitumen is uh, falling in the bottom and then we'll measure the amount of time at which it gets filled up the bitumen sample after falling down we have stopped the stopwatch and the time is 49.15 seconds so in this so in this way we will be taking three different three different readings and eventually we will be comparing the readings of all these three thank you